r slash ask reddit what is a weird trend that existed that everyone forgot about as a goodwill employee i can assure you that none of these trends are really gone they're just two dollars 99 on a back shelf i find it very reassuring that i can go to goodwill and find something that cheaply to remind me of yesteryear that period in the late 90s and early zeros when near inflatable furniture was popular Two dudes in my dorm got a bunch of those things, stuck velcro on the bottom and on the ceiling, and had easy chairs that stashed completely out of the way when they weren't in use, ducking brilliant. Buys inflatable chairs to save space when they aren't needed, blows them up one time, says duck that and heads out to buy velcro. The weird obsession with mustaches in 2013 or whatever year it was. Don't forget bacon, the default subs were all mustaches and bacon back then and narwhals. The Harlem Shake. God that was so weird. The best was a street interview with guys in Harlem showing them the Harlem Shake and one of guys goes nah that's some shit from W4. Flash mobs? Oh god. OMG ask me anything zing flash mob in Adelaide Morlong's video has 10 people in it. It's always a slap to the face seeing Adelaide mentioned on reddit. Those creepy clowns showing up everywhere in 2016. A simpler time. Can we go back to that? I'd really prefer that over this bullshit. When I was a kid, early 90s, the kids around my neighborhood were into marbles. Almost everyone I knew had some and we'd all play each other for trades. Then Pokemon came along. When swing music and swing dancing was really popular for like 6 months in 1998. Squirrel nut zippers and cherry poppin' daddies. Don't forget the best one. Big bad voodoo daddy, they were in swingers. Remember silly bands? Everyone wanted character slash animal objects shaped rubber bands on their arm. We all traded them for ones we wanted more and whoever had the most was the coolest. Some kids went as far as wearing them so tight they left marks. Then after about a year they dropped off the face of the earth and no one ever discussed them again. And slap bands where IT would be a bracelet and you would slap IT on your wrist and inside was an old tape measure. In the 80s, there was a certain look, thick socks, scrunched up, best was to wear two pairs and alternate layer them, then, a too large button up shirt with some kind of graphic pattern, sleeves rolled up, you had to not tuck that in, yet wear a thin belt over it, tightly at your waist, finally, the hair, people remember the hair, a fringy bang over the forehead, but then a big, High roll coming up from the top of for it too. So much hairspray. I was taught by an older girl who really nailed this look that the way to get the highest roll up top involved toothpaste. For the added texture and hold. She also taught me how to put on eyeliner. So much blue eyeliner. People remember the near and weird patterns of the 80s. But have missed these fine details. May they never return. Edited to add. LA gear high tops and multiple laces were the right shoe for this look. Or the side ponytail that had to be at just the right angle so it didn't mess with the popped collar two different color layered polos. Yep, but there was a version of this that was ducking hot, when girls would wear a long sweater or even a men's style button down with a belt. No pants or tights, they wore it like a dress. Fidget spinner. From 2017. This trend came in just like that, and within a few months, it was completely forgotten about. Wait that was 3 years ago, jeez, I got I think 8 in that short amount of time, and I got into it towards the end of it, now I just see one around my house every once in a while and get inexplicably angry. In middle school, guys would wear extra long belts and it would dangle off to the side. They still do that, off white industrial belts were the thing to have if you had 100 buck laying around for a belt edit. After waking from my slumber I have bust my ass laughing at these comments. Thank you redditors for making not only my day, but my whole week. We used to wear an onion on the belt when I was in high school. That was the style at the time. Connie 2012. What a fever dream. Ro. All that hype and he didn't even hit 1% of the vote s. Bright colored silicone charity bracelets. Live strong. I worked in a caterpillar factory at the time. Company handed out thousands of those silicone bracelets in the distinctive cat yellow. Within days, 
The big marine diesel started failing paint inspection. There were little flecks where the paint wouldn't adhere. Turns out that those bracelets constantly degrade and leave little specks of silicone everywhere. The bracelets very quickly and quietly disappeared factory wide and it never happened. In, like, 1999 or 2000, Yo Yos got popular in a big way. A bunch of kids did tricks with them. Everyone wanted one. And then it just ended. Everyone seems to remember slap bracelets and pogs from around the same time but no one remembers the yo-yo obsession. Haha <laughs> I remember this. My grandma took me to see a professional yo-yo at the local mall. I got a high speed sun beach with bearings and a belt holster for Christmas. Did not make me as popular as I dreamed it would. Turns out if a weird kid is good at yo-yo tricks, it actually just makes them more weird. Who knew? I remember the yo-yo craze. I also just watched a yo-yo show on Netflix makes me wanna yo again. Tech deck fingerboards. Used to go over to a friend's house and shred his mini scatter park. Saying was our app. Yo. Doki. Pick up the phone. Thanks to one popular song in the 90s. Everyone was obsessed with Gregorian chants for a few months. It didn't even seem that weird at the time. The song. HTTPS colon slash slash, Yautu, BX4 Maru4A3 X4. This song takes me to a place where I'm 8 years old and in an aggressively air conditioned zoo gift shop while browsing galaxy dolphins printed on t-shirts. Tamagotchi pets, Furbies, Pogs, Polly Pockets. The Vuvuzela, everyone had one of those 10 years ago. Yep, during World Cup in 2010. We had a girl in university we called Vuvuzela because she was excessively loud and extremely annoying. Mustache finger tattoos. No one talks about the Walmart yodeling kid anymore. He sings country music now. HTTPS colon slash slash. Yautu. BXWE8FOLLY0. Those feral Williams. Happy tribute videos. Not really weird. But kinda annoying. Butterfly clips. I wore butterfly clips and velcro for gemstones in my hair to my high school prom. And yes, my prom dress had spaghetti straps. Why do you ask? Platform shoes. Butterfly hair clips. Fubu. Jinkos. Pencil thin eyebrows. Wearing dresses over bell bottom jeans. Basically, an entire Delia S or Alloy magazine. This just transported me back to freshman year in such a visceral way. Every detail of your post is exactly spot on. Whoa. Haven't thought about Delia S or Alloy in 23 years. What a timestamp. Thank you for this. Now where did I put my garbage and bush CDs? All the millennials pretending to be vampires as teenagers. It's got nothing on the Anne Rice obsessed goths of the 90s. Which is what spawned the millennial vamps. Interview with the vampire had a big effect on us. LOL. Gangnam Style Dance. 2012. Nope I'm still rocking that. If my little kid family members ever come over, we dance to that and what does the fox say? Good times. Pair those up with thrift shop and some Minecraft parodies and you've got the ultimate 2012 lineup. Mannequin Challenge. CHCHCH Cheer. There are Bob Ross and Richard Simmons cheer pets now I just saw the commercials. That graffiti yes that people would draw back in school on their papers. Kids are still doing that in school. Kids have been doing that for literally hundreds of years. When I was 10 kids at my school, myself included, wore overalls backwards like crisscross. Edit. Adjusted age. Hello fellow 40 year old. Pacifier necklaces. Early to mid 90s raver culture, or to just pretend that you went to raves. Isn't that mostly so people don't grind their teeth when they're on molly? Hypercollar shirts. Showing your age there pal. I had one. Showing your age there pal. Chuckles nervously in pet rock. Pumped up kicks not the song. The actual athletic shoes with the tiny air pumps in them. Reebok pumps. Making friendship pins with tiny colored beads strung on little gold safety pins. We lace them through our gym shoes. The whip and nay nay. It happened and then just kinda stopped existing. Heelys. The shoes with the wheel in the heel. 
cup stacking. We were literally all encouraged to become expert kids who could stack cups quickly and in the correct formation. Go to love public school. Ice bucket challenge. Probably one of the better crazes causes that came about. The guy that started it recently passed away who had ALS. Wasn't it weird that the penalty for not donating to ALS was to get the ice dump. But everyone just started doing the ice dump for likes and ALS was kind of just an afterthought. Cinnamon challenge. Harlem shake and horse masks. Angry birds. Loom bands. Popped collars and a Abercrombie and Fitch. That phase of high school was interesting. At least 3-6 Mafia gave us a song about it. I worked at Hollister my senior year of high school. Popped so many collars when dressing mannequins. Once we had to layer 3 polos onto one mannequin. All collars popped of course. 2007. What a time. YOLO I didn't understand why that word became so popular. Those brat dolls. I, three boobies bracelets were really popular when I was in middle school, open bracket, late zeros. I remember going into PacSun in my bright blue vans and low rise skinny jeans feeling like the most powerful person in the world because I could wear something with the word boobies on it in public, open bracket, our school quickly banned them. Shaking hands when you meet someone. Mood rings. Rat tails. Trying to get famous hurting ourselves. Ayla jackass. Even after the disclaimer was added to the show. We were still going down slides on skateboards. Stacking skate decks and going down massive hills. Shopping car jousting. Skitching. Blanket parties. BB gun tolerance tests. The list goes on. I have the scars and flashback trauma to prove it. In the late 90s there was a trend where you wore flannel pajama bottoms like they were pants. Flannel pajama bottoms are suddenly acceptable work attire in 2020. I've worn them in several meetings. And no one said a thing. Trapper keepers. Open bracket. Right now I'm watching the episode of Cobra Kai where Johnny mentions it. Pet rocks. Pogs and slammers. That soldier boy song dance. It was completely ubiquitous my junior year of high school and I have no idea why. Silk Asian dragon shirts. Being emo and listening to good Charlotte. Water beds. Power balance bracelets they were insanely popular and it was absolutely insane that they were. Italian charm bracelets also. Furbies. My mom. Of all people got obsessed with Furbies back in the day. We had dozens of them. Bottle flipping. Wearing camis under absolutely everything and pulled down far below your pant pockets. That time in high school when the weird thin plastic bracelets girls would wear meant different sex acts they'd done based on the colors. Grew up in NYC during the 90s and 2000s here's a few. Wearing one pant leg up. 8 ball jackets. People wearing and using pacifiers. Cuts in your eyebrows. Wearing overalls with one strap undone. Wearing your clothes backwards. As many of those ropey tie things on the zipper of your Jamsport backpack. Hats with metal plates on the front of them. Vasco jeans. Wearing a extra long belt with it hanging down your leg. When people wore visors upside down and sideways. The og memes like I has cheese borgia. Lulz that were super popular on the internet for a while and suddenly just disappeared. Fidget spinners. Damn Daniel. Hyper color clothes. Change color with body heat. Terrible idea. Wearing clothes backwards. Open bracket. Wiggity whack. Tight rolling cuffs on jeans. Jeans that were already so tight you had to zip them with a coat hanger. Super oversized clothes. Ripping the sleeves off my flannels. Then wearing another long sleeve under it. Super thin eyebrows. Choker necklaces and body glitter. Leaving the tags on your clothes. Yes. I was a teen in the 90s. Zip off at the knee car keys. Brinnies. A load of grown male MLP fans. Myspace. JNCO jeans. Anyone remember hit clips? Getting a tiny little player and only a snippet of a song. Whoever had the most keychain songs was the coolest. I had the boombox player. Whoa. 
You made it to the end, you're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.